What if I told you the most important company you've never heard of is about to get caught in the crossfire of a global power struggle? It's a battle that could put the supply of everything from your phone to your car at risk. The U.S. government has a factory in China in its sights and the fallout could affect all of us. One, the invisible engine. Deep inside your phone, your car, your computer, and even your coffee maker, there are billions of microscopic brains. These are semiconductors or chips and they are the unseen engine of our modern world. Without them, nothing works. And for decades, one company has been the undisputed king of making them. TSMC, the Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company. This company is a titan, so critical that it's responsible for a staggering 70% of the global contract foundry market. Seriously, it's not an exaggeration to say the global economy pretty much rests on its shoulders. But that powerful position has now made it a bullseye in a high-stakes geopolitical game. Two, the Flashpoint, a factory in China. The whole story revolves around a single factory, TSMC's Fab 16, located in Nanjing, China. Now, this isn't where TSMC makes its most cutting edge, three nanometer chips. Those are still made in Taiwan. Instead, the Nanjing factory is a workhorse churning out huge volumes of older but absolutely essential 16 nanometer and 28 nanometer chips. Here's the problem. The U.S. government has notified TSMC that a key authorization for this factory will be revoked, effective December 33, 25. This special status, known as a Validated End User, or VU, was basically a fast pass. It allowed American companies to freely ship chip-making tools, spare parts, and materials to the Nanjing plant without needing a separate permission slip for every single shipment. But when that special status goes away, every piece of U.S. equipment sent to that factory will require an individual export license. And here's the kicker. Those licenses will be reviewed with a presumption of denial, meaning they are far more likely to be rejected than approved. This move is designed to choke off the flow of American technology and grind the factory's operations to a halt. Three, why now? The geopolitical game, so what's the big idea? This decision isn't just about one factory. It's a major shot fired in the escalating tech war between the US and China. For years, the United States has been tightening its controls to prevent China from getting its hands on advanced semiconductor technology. The fear is that this tech could be used to supercharge Beijing's military and artificial intelligence capabilities. This isn't a new fight, but it is a dramatic escalation. By yanking these authorizations for TSMC and previously for other major players with factories in China like Samsung and SK Hynix, Washington is trying to close loopholes and slow down China's ambition for total tech self-sufficiency. It's a strategy of weaponized interdependence, where you use your control over critical technology as a tool of foreign policy. And TSMC, a Taiwanese company, is now caught squarely in the middle of this superpower rivalry, trying to balance the demands of its biggest customer, the U.S., and a major market, China. Four, the ripple effect. Why your chip supply is at risk. Okay, so how does a policy decision in Washington hit home for you? Well, those chips made in TSMC's Nanjing factory are what we call legacy chips. They're built on older 28 nanometer and 16 meter technology. That might not sound sexy, but these are the workhorse chips that run the world's automotive industry, power our consumer electronics, and manage VE components. With these new restrictions, analysts are warning that even if the factory doesn't shut down entirely, just getting new equipment or even basic spare parts will become a nightmare. This could trigger operational delays, production slowdowns, and shortages within months. If car companies can't get the chips they need, assembly lines could slow down again. The price of your everyday electronics could creep up. Squeezing this one factory could send shockwaves across the entire global supply chain, messing with the flow of goods we all take for granted. Five, China's next move, Anamp, 
the future faced. Through this kind of pressure, China isn't just going to sit back and take it. For years, Beijing has been pouring billions into building its own domestic chip industry, with the ultimate goal of becoming completely independent of foreign tech. This move by the US will almost certainly force China to hit the accelerator on those plans. We might be looking at a future with two separate competing tech worlds, one led by the US and its allies, and another built from the ground up by China. This decoupling could make all of our technology more expensive and less interconnected. It's a future where your phone, your car, and your computer could be powered by entirely different and maybe even incompatible technological DNA. So, one factory, one expiring authorization, and suddenly the incredible fragility of our globalized world is on full display. It shows how a high-stakes struggle for tech supremacy can directly threaten the products you use every single day. The invisible engines that power our lives are now at the center of a very visible conflict. Who do you think will ultimately win this chip war? And what do you think it means for the future of technology? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. And if you want to stay ahead of the trends shaping our world, make sure to subscribe for more deep dives like this one.